Merry Christmas, everyone. It is Friday before Christmas, so it's the 23rd today. So you guys won't, uh, won't hear from us until the day after Christmas, which I think many people have that day off too since Christmas falls on Sunday. So I got several different things I want to go over today. Um, first of all, this is kind of a um, kind of an addendum to the other day's Wednesday's video about putting uh, putting your signs in plastic bags before you ship them. I had mentioned on there that I get my bags from BagsOnTheNet.com, uh, and Val Black had written me afterwards said in regards to the plastic bags, I went online to BagsOnTheNet.com page and did and then did a search on Amazon. Um, and you know, I, I failed to mention that um, a lot of times on the bags on the net.com, uh, I buy big quantities because I use them a lot, but um, not everybody is in that position. So, uh, and these are the bags that I get. They're, they're basically about 17 or 7 by 28, I think, or something like that, sealed at one end. But you can also buy a roll that's a tube. Um, but anyway, the point is that um, if you just do some search for poly bags on Amazon, uh, you, I'm sure you can find a lot of other places to buy them in smaller quantities than what you might have to buy from uh, bags on the net. So um, thank you, Val, for, for pointing that out. So you guys might, if you only want, you know, 10 or 20 or 50 bags, you might be able to find them on Amazon. Uh, cheaper and, and smaller quantities. Anyway, so I just wanted to throw that out there again. Um, okay, so next question is from Andrew Costa. He says, I just watched and realized that the router needs to be modified, cut out on the back. Do you recommend taking it to a machine shop? So what Andrew is talking about, for those of you that don't know, this is a uh, this is the router that I use uh, most of the time for my detail work. Uh, it's a DWP611, but it doesn't come like this. This is not the way it comes when you buy this in, uh, you know, at a store or whatever. It doesn't come this way. Let me show you how it does come. It comes like this. This is the base that comes with it as a stock base. Okay, so you can see the backside is not opened up the way we've opened up our backside. Now, and so that's what Andrew was referring to. And then this is this base plate is one that we make. We have on our website. This is a you know a, a laser cut, uh, laser etched uh, base plate that you can just take this off and and screw this right in its place. Many of you have this already, and many of you are making your own. Hey, that's good. We have them available if you want them there on the website. But anyway, my point is this: this part. A lot of people are really nervous about opening this up. Now if you go back and watch our videos number 50 and number 122, dad shows him modifying this and it's not that hard to do. It's just you got to have, we do it with the drill press and we, we uh, clamp it down and put it in a jig. Anyway, um, that's uh, that's what you would want to do, or you know, just exactly like what Andrew Costa says, you may want to take it to a, a local machine shop and have them machine it for you. That's an option, and uh, it, some guys are doing that. So, um, but uh, anyway, if you go back and watch 50 and 122, and there probably are some others too, where we show that uh, show Dad actually goes on and modifies that base. So uh, go check that out. If you have any questions, obviously get back to me. And let let me know. Um, okay, so the next question is, um, I was just wondering, this is from Brad over in Australia. He says, I was just wondering, I'm having great difficulty finding Minwax sanding sealer. And that's the brand that I use currently. This is a water-based sanding sealer, but they have water-based and oil-based. I like the water-based. It's thinner. Um, I don't have to do anything to it as far as thin it down and it washes up with, uh, with soap and water or just you know warm water. Um, so it's what I like to use. And I think, um, and Brad is from Australia. He said he's having a tough time finding this, so he's asking if it does, if it matters, if he got a different brand. Um, but I have never used another water-based sanding sealer, but I've used many um, brands of oil-based sanding sealer, and they were all pretty much the same. Oh, there's the phone. Yeah, hopefully Dad will get it. Um, so. 
uh, if you, sorry, I lost my train of thought. So anyway, as far as water-based sanding sealers, I can't say for sure, but my hunch is they're all pretty much the same for what we use it for, especially. We're just sealing up that pine so it doesn't bleed on us. So, um, um, uh, I've used, again, to reiterate, I've used the oil base, lots of different ones. So that's the, the water base. I think they're probably all pretty much the same too. So I think that is about it. Um, we will have another Coffee and Questions on Monday morning. In the meantime, uh, we have a, uh, a clip for you coming up. Uh, what? Sign oh, Sign Carvers of the Day. Yes. I almost messed up. Raul Padilla. Here is a really cool sign from Raul, one of our regular guys. Talk to Raul on a regular basis. Terrific job. Love it. Great job. It's a big one, too. I don't know exactly how big it is, but that's got to be two foot square at least, maybe three foot square. And the next one is Keith Lennox, his very first sign, which is very impressive. And as you guys know, the whole copyright thing, you know, uh, I don't do it. Um, and that I, might be for himself. He might be that's himself. true. This may be completely for him, and he may not be selling these. So, you know, we had that. We, that's come up before as far as the copyright deal. So that's, uh, that's pretty much on you guys. So, uh, but for a first sign ever, unbelievable. <laughs> that's gorgeous. I love that font style on the bottom, too. I don't know what that is. All right, that's it. So we have, uh, like I said before, we have a clip coming up for you right now. So again, Merry Christmas, everybody, and we'll see you. Uh, have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday, the day after Christmas. So thanks for watching, and uh, please give us a thumbs up if you have a thumb. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I stole that from Savannah. I, Savannah says that. Anyway, um, so everybody, I hope you have a great weekend, and thanks again. We so appreciate all of you that watch and, and support us through the year. We couldn't keep doing what we do without you guys supporting us, watching us, watching our little commercial things, buying products from us. We so appreciate it. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye. Hi everyone, uh, we just wanted to say Merry Christmas from our family to your family. I'm going to introduce everybody starting on the far, your would be your far left, my daughter Rachel, her husband Jay, my son-in-law, my grandson Eric, my hold dad. On, hold on, don't keep wait, going, wait. I'll be right back. <laughs> my dad, obviously you guys know who that is. <laughs> this is my grandson Jax. My other grandson, Xander, my granddaughter, Sophia, <laughs> and this is <laughs> the ones that aren't here. This is Ryan and uh, my son, granddaughter, um, Gwenny, and my granddaughter, granddaughter. Well, my daughter-in-law, <laughs> Amy. Too much pie tonight. <laughs> and obviously, you guys know Vicky. So we just want to say Merry Christmas from our family to yours. Ready, everybody? Here we go. Merry Christmas! And I'm the one responsible for all this, I guess. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> That's Merry right. Merry Christmas, everybody. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Merry Christmas, all. The schedule's like, peace out. <laughs>